Hi guys, just Rock back again in Mount and Blade Warband. Um, you might notice my throat is starting to get a little bit crackly. I'm still a bit crook. And yeah, so we're heading to Sargoth and we're going to make our way down to Vardok lands so we can start rec recruiting people that we can turn into crossbowmen. Watering Skull, the Merchant of Sargoth. Basically, we're taking a look around to see if we can find a Ransom Broker. Which we have. Wonderful. Hey, buddy. Sell a bunch of Sea Raiders. Done. Okay. Not going to bother with anything else there. Got another Archer. Yeah, there's the problem. The Archers are down too low. Okay, that's going to work a bit better, I think. Hmm. Okay, we'll head down to... Oh, they've taken a castle up here. Huh. Well, there you go. You can see there, they've gone from being just down in this area. During the last war, they've managed to come up and take this castle here. You will see a lot of trading hands. Um, It's not always the most rational thing either. Like, you'll have the Nords will all of a sudden go to war with these guys. And then just randomly you'll have a little yellow castle pop up here and a blue castle pop up here. And uh... Okay. We'll head down to Volusa. Of Luca. Where the hell am I? Way up here. Uh, Rodox and the Swadians are at war. That's these guys, yeah. So we're probably going to see a bit of orange and green changing hands. Oh, now the Nords are at war with the Rodox as well. They could be in for a bit of trouble. Why the hell did I come all the way down there? Really? Seriously? Idiot. I could have just gone to Meekin. For some reason I just had the fact that there was a castle there stuck in my head and it didn't occur to me that I could go into the town to get what I want. Got a few, not a lot. How did that, that Emma has been looted. Head to Saramish. So how many have we got? Nine Rodokian tribesmen. Okay, fourteen will do us. Yeah, you know, I th can't remember who, whether it's the. Kurgit or the Serenids that I want here. The heavy, heavy cavalry. Hemorrhaging a bit of money. But I'll grab a couple of these guys. Seven. What now? So 14 of them as well. Yeah, Rodok Crossbowmen. They're what we want. Let's move them up. Crossbows aren't going to do as much... Oh, sorry. They're going to do more damage per hit, but they're not going to hit as often. Uh, now, the annoying thing is we're going to have to make our way all the way back up here. We can take on the Raiders and Bandits down around here, I suppose. But it's not worth as much and don't drop as good a loot. The ones you'll find down around here are also a lot more ranged heavy. Which can be a bit of a nuisance. Uh, Kyrgyz and Swadia have made peace. So, no more horsey wars. What are you? Eh, manhunters. Okay. Whoa, what are we at here? Sea Raiders. Are you following me? You moron. Talking, 56 versus their 28. Because that's going to work in their favour. Put our infantry there and our cavalry up there.
Mm. Cavalry aren't going to be amazingly great in this fight. Myself included, if I'm to stay on, if I decide to stay on horseback. I might even try and move my archers over here a bit more. Put the cavalry away. And move the infantry up out of their little gully. All those throwing axes are not going to be friendly. Ah. You remember going uphill or even trying to run down heavy slopes? Either way, it's going to be bad for anybody on horseback. What did I lose? A recruit. Oh, crap. Get out of there. Tell our infantry to get in there. And of course, they're all running off after one person. Idiots. Another recruit killed. Not good for us. Get our cavalry in there. Come on, guys. You guys can do better than this. Saw that, that was a good hit. Okay. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I saw ya. Turn around, you stupid horsey. Man, killing my toes, and I'm still missing. What do we get? We lost one person, had five wounded. That's not too bad. Captured nine of their peoples. Crossbowman on the increase. Lovely. Yeah, we want the Serenids. I think we want the Serenids to become footmen. Hmm. See if we can find some more tra traveling farmers. Kyrgyz and the Vagir are at war. More farmers. Lots more farmers. Okay. Oh, come on. What do we got happening here? Manhunters versus looters. Yeah, we'll jump in. We'll put archers here. 
footman here. And any cavalry we do have will see on the charge. There are any looters. Come on. Woot. Hit him. Didn't do much, but hit him. Oh, really? Really, really? Oh, well, at least I can say I knocked out two, three... Four. Yeah, five. Can't believe those looters knocked out one of my manhunters. That sounds like about it. Yep, fight over. Thank you for your help. They're not worth much, but we might as well grab them. Now, which way did I want to go with these? I think footmen. Yeah, serenade horsemen are where we're going to go with the those guys. I think. I don't know. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Trained crossbowmen, lovely. Hmm. More stuff to go and sell. Where did they go? Damn it. It would be good when my spotting is up a bit higher. So, just so you know my opinion, any commander with sense will not let his company run out of food. I hope you don't mind me speaking bluntly. Hopefully it won't happen again. I ran out of food, did I? Bloody hell. I did too. How embarrassing. Well, we can't let that happen again, can we? Must have forgotten to buy any before we left town last. How very un-me. We lost 100 dinars. Is there anything upstairs on this one? I can't remember. There is, but there's nobody. Okay. So, Wercheg is a bit of a flop. And we'll head back towards Rivercheg. Five hundred and fourteen per week. Ouch. Mariga's the one that'll give us the quest to go and wipe out that Sea Raider camp. Which we will probably do fairly soon-ish, I think. Got a few people starting to level up. As I said, I don't remember if I like Borcher or if I want Borcher or not. I've really only played around a little bit with it. Um, I've mentioned before... Rolf. Rolf is definitely one I want. He's a braggart, a liar, and potentially all sorts of other bad things. But, yeah. I don't want Jeremiah. Yeah, as I was saying, I mentioned before that I have watched... Um, I think Splattercat probably did my favourite playthrough of this. Splattercat tends to do my favourite playthrough of a lot of things, though. Get you up there... So what are you giving us? First aid and surgery. Okay, let's look at your equipment. Um, you can have that. I actually want to put him into the bowline. I'm going to have to get some crossbow bolts. And we can... Get rid of those two. 
Have you got any decent crossbow bolts here? We'll just straight up bolts. Just straight up bolts. Okay. Actually, I probably should have given you, kept him with a sword. Just in case. Nah, stop him. Come here, Rolfie. Got to get him a helmet too. And got to remember to put him in with the archers. Lovely. So what have we got? 15 people. Go down to Riveton. Or Raveton. Okay, six looters, nine sea raiders, done. And some more level ups. Woot de loo. What are you guys? King Julie's. So, Boyard Julie's party. Alright, that is King is beyond me. Let's go grab these Tundra Bandits. Come on. Ah, oh, you'd slit my throat for a trinket. Lovely. Give you nothing but cold steel. Okay. Let's get our... Archers up there. Infantry down in front of them. And any cavalry we've got can go over there. I think we've got any cavalry, to be honest. No, we didn't get fielded with any. Once. Trying to put the infantry sort of in front and slightly below the line of archers. Not getting those turns in fast enough. Okay. Infantry can move in because I'm almost dead. I'm going to sort of chill out over here and just watch how the battle can plays out now, I suppose. We might lose a few of the lower level ones, but we should be fairly okay, I would think. I haven't seen any orange or red pop up yet. Okay. Anybody else running away? We got a couple of enemy archers still over here. Now, it's going to be just my luck. I'm going to go for these, and one of them will take me out. Wonderful. I don't think we lost anybody. Nope, and we wounded 14 of theirs. Awesome. We'll take the Vagir Footman, and might as well take the Caravan Guard. Oh no, we don't have room for him. Um, in that case, we'll get rid of the Vagir Footman. And grab the Caravan Guard. Don't know what they're like as troops. Mercenary Swordsman or Mercenary Horseman. Interesting. We'll go on footman for the serenades. 
And we've got our first Whiskal. Lovely. Is our first Whiskal? Yeah. Essentially, the Nord Elite footman. They can dish out and take some pretty mad punishment. Okay, check our party. Go see Rolf for a moment. What are you, 14 on the feet? Need to give you a helmet too. None of these are amazing, but some protection is better than no protection. Put a shield on his back just in case. And give him that. Just in case anybody does get too close, he can still defend himself. Um, Have I got any throw ones? No, I sold them already. Fooey. I don't think he can take that. No, he can't. Might be worth giving him a couple of skirmishy based weapons as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The reason I say that is anybody that's got skirmish weapons, when they're holding the line, it'll give them a chance to essentially join in at the, with at least some mid-ranged combat, I suppose. Watcher, Watchman, Traveler. I wonder if it's my own mouse's sensitivity that's causing the problems. I've been having a bit of trouble with that lately. I don't know. I suppose I'll get it figured out eventually. Have got any better bolts? Large bag of bolts. Um, only gives him a few extra shots though, so maybe not worth it. I think I mentioned they will run out of ammo. Some nice weapons, but again, I'm going for the knocking people out as opposed to killing them. Let's grab a couple of bags of grain. One more fight. Might as well before we finish off this episode, which we will be doing in just a moment. Cavalry can wait over there. Got a few of them this time around. We've got four. Four horses, five including my own. Getting a fair few archers, which is nice. And here they come. Let's tell our horsies to follow us. I'm not going to get too involved in this fight. As you can see, my health well and truly hasn't regenerated. But right about there. And the cavalry can get in and charge. Infantry can now move forward as well. Man, missing everybody. Yay, I got one. One. One whole person. Really? Fine. At least we knocked him out. 
Okay, offload two of them, grab the three Sea Raiders. Get some more upgrades in. Lovely. Oh, more stuff. We do like stuff. Okay, guys. Well, that's pretty much where we're going to finish off this episode. I'm going to head probably down to Kudan. Uh, try and sell off our captives. Might start heading down there now, actually. And, yeah, in the next episode, we'll come back up, try and find the ruler of Rivercheg. And might try and get the mission to take out that Sea Raider landing. Um... Yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a fight for us to take at the moment, which is going to be good. But for the right now, this is Jess Ruck, and this is Mountain Blade Warband. Please feel free to hit the buttons of appreciation and whatnot down the bottom. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!